Hello all and welcome to the next unboxing. Today we are going to look at the WWE Ultimate Edition Charlotte uh, Ringside Exclusive. Um, now, here's a weird thing about this being a Ringside Exclusive. Um, it's going to be kind of a weird story. I uh, This whole set, this line, it was Charlotte and The Rock. Um, I ordered The Rock off of Amazon. Um, and when it came in, it was not The Rock, it was her. Very weird, right? Because she's supposed, I, I'm pretty sure she was a ringside exclusive, so I don't know why Amazon sent me her. Um, I don't know how that works. I don't know if it's just a distribution problem or what. Um, I eventually sent that one back to Amazon and got, uh, The Rock Ultimate, which we'll be looking at, uh, here he is. We'll be looking at that in a different video. Um, but, uh, and then I eventually just ordered this one off of ringside where, you know, you're kind of supposed to get it. So, um, box is a little torn, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I didn't have a Charlotte player before. Um, I never really was a big fan of some of the ones we got. Um, but now that we have this ultimate, I'm super excited for it. Um, so yeah, there she is. It's a big box. So kind of got to move that up a little bit. Uh, I like Charlotte. I genuinely believe she's probably one of the uh, best women's wrestlers around. I know some people kind of get tired of her or think there's like an overrated thing there. I don't. I really believe she's actually just really good. Maybe her character isn't always the best, but I do think just from like an athletic standpoint and the things she can do and her charisma, she's very good. Um, so we got the sides. It's the same packaging every Ultimate has had, um, just with like more pictures on the back and a little bit more of a detailed bio. So if you want to kind of just look at that, there you go. Um, uh, yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, I made sure to pre-cut the tape before I did this because I did not want stalling in this. Um, so there we go. So when you cut pre-cut the tape like I did, blank, there you go. Uh, like so easy. So glad I did that. Um, so we got that. Um, I do like the Ultimate Edition boxes. They're real like thick and sturdy. And now we have Charlotte. Um, uh, she comes with interchangeable hands. So we kind of have like the Ric Flair walking hands, like the strut hands. But for her, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I like that detail. I think it's pretty cool. Um, then she's got like her chopping hands, um, open palm hands. Uh, really what they are is just open palm hands. But uh, you can use those for like her chopping effects, her chopping motions. And then of course we got another one of those. Alternate head, which is pretty, uh, I think we're going pretty, growing pretty accustomed to with the ultimates coming with alternate heads. Um, I like this. This is the main reason I bought this as opposed to any of her other elites or her basics. The ultimate head sculpts look way better than what we've gotten for her before, in my opinion. Um, so I'll compare both head sculpts to her picture on the box here in a minute. Um, and then we got Charlotte herself. Um, she's got a lot of little twisty ties here, so bear with me as I cut those. Okay, so you kind of got to be a little bit careful when you're pulling out her robe. It's tied into like, uh, kind of pushed into the back. Kind of like what you see with some of the goods in uh, the Star Wars Black Series. There we go, I got it out pretty good. I won't, I'm always afraid like they're just going to tear when you do something like that. Um, but here she is, Charlotte Flair Ultimate Edition. Um, this is our... Third female in the Ultimate Edition line? I know the first one was Ronda in the first line with Warrior. And then later we got Becky with the John Cena, right? So, yeah. Um, here we go. I mean, she looks great. Uh, the Her robe is just Velcro right on the front. It's a cloth good robe. Velcro's right there. 
awesome, easy to do. Um, actually, you could probably make that look even better and cover up the Velcro part. There you go. Perfect. Um, she stands really well. Uh, I'm trying to get her... There we go. Okay. That was a little tight. Um, so there we go in there. All right. Awesome. I like it. Uh, just right off the bat, like first impressions, I like it. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know the difference between the Ultimates and the Elites, um, a lot of the joints and everything are pretty much the same. The biggest difference, though, that you're going to get on the Elites is the... Um, Instead of just an ab crunch, they have like a full torso movement. Um, and hers is really good. Um, also, like the detail on her costuming is really good. You got the paint there. When you go up, it continues up. There's her tattoo on her trunk. She's got like the um, detail and all of that too. Looks really good. Uh, she's got the Charlotte Flair uh, lettering. So yeah, it's just... Um, their more articulated line uh, with the different torsos. Um, I like them. Uh, I like most of them. I can't say I like them. I haven't bought um, uh, all of them. I think I've only actually, in terms of uh, Ultimates, I've only bought a couple. Up until now, I bought three in a row. I bought the Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, the Rock, and Charlotte. Um, so, yeah. And I know there's that Hollywood Hogan everybody's saying is like one of the best figures of the year, but I'm, I'm probably not going to get it. Just... FYI. Um, so there she is. We can go ahead and take a look at her picture on the box. So there she is there. I think it's a really good likeness. Yeah. I like this head sculpt more than I like any of the ones on her elites or her basics. Um, it just looks better in every way. Um, so I'm glad I waited and eventually got this instead. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think this is just a a SmackDown gear she wore. Um, is it her WrestleMania gear? It might be her WrestleMania gear. I could be wrong. I really don't know. I'm not too familiar with which one of the, her gears this is. This kind of pink salmon-y color. Um, uh, but either way, I like it. I think it looks great. The robe is fantastic. Um, the back, we got the flare there. Um... You can push it down if you want. You can keep it up like it kind of normally is supposed to be. Um, yeah, no complaints here. Another just excellent figure, especially for an Ultimate. Um, I don't own a lot of the Ultimates, but I'm glad I waited and got this one. Uh, it looks great for her. Um, not a whole lot more to go on. Like I said, if you've, if you've seen one Ultimate, you kind of seen them all with their joints and everything. Um I don't really want to take off the jacket because I plan on displaying it like this. Uh, so uh, I guess I could. Now nah, you know what? I'm just going to leave it on and call it good. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just display it like that. Kind of give her the the outspread arms and call it good. Maybe put these hands on her. Um, and this, that's how I'll display it. But yeah, uh, not a lot to really say. I like it. I think it's good. Oh, mine actually has a weird tape thing here. I didn't notice that. Let's get that off. Okay. Wow. Okay. I didn't even notice that. Um, there we go. Now the robe's like much more open. Um, I didn't even notice that. So I can kind of come all the way around now. Cool. All right, even better now. A <laughs> uh, little thing I did not notice. All right, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Like I said, I'm glad I waited for this one instead of getting one of our earlier figures. I think this one's just ten times better. So, yeah, uh, thank you, and I will catch you guys in the next video.